Welcome to Insights of the Real Deal. This week we're speaking about related Hudson Yards project on the west side. And Bob, I'd like to ask you about what is going on in the neighborhood uh, since the project plans firmed up last year. Well, there's been tremendous activity in the Hudson Yards area. Uh, in 2010, we saw 17 sale transactions totaling about $1.1 billion. Related to their offering space at $70 a foot and offering to build a suit at cost, which they estimate to be around $700 a foot. How does that relate to the market in general in that area? For new office construction of anywhere from $500 to $800 per square foot on a hard and soft cost basis, uh, and you throw land value in, uh, you're coming out with an all-in cost of probably around $1,000. Uh, so to the extent that they can deliver space less expensive than that, uh, it would be a competitive advantage for them. We're speaking with Jay Cross, he's president of Related Hudson Yards. The article from last May was, I mean, everyone makes predictions, hopeful predictions, but it was hoping by the end of last year you'd have a first tenant. That hasn't happened. Does, is well, that we're only in or? February, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're, uh, we're anxious. We believe that we um, will have our first tenants in place uh, before the end of this year, and mm -hmm. in an ideal world, we'll start construction in 2012 and deliver our first building, which is likely the South Building, mm -hmm. in 2015, and deliver the big building and all of the retail complex, sort of 16, 16, mm -hmm. 17. How many tenants are you talking to very seriously right now? Mm, a dozen, but I would say you know, ser very seriously has varying degrees. And what are asking rents right now? But we believe we can deliver Class A buildings in that neighborhood of $70 a square foot. How does that break out to cost per foot to purchase? Uh, it's going to be roughly around $700 a square foot to purchase, you know. There's you can build ballpark this? numbers. Yeah. You can build it at $700 yeah. a foot? Yeah, maybe? and the great thing oh. about the, the ground lease arrangements with the MTA is that we can kind of minimize all of the airspace mm -hmm. and buy the fee simple from the MTA. So it starts as a 99-year ground lease, but we can chop it up into mini ground leases, and then those ground leases can be converted to fee purchase, so that uh -huh. at the end of the day, it'll be a whole series of condominium interests on top of the rail yards. Right now, the price is set at about $70 a foot for someone who would sign up now. Mm -hmm. Is that for anyone that signs up within a certain period, or is that like a first taker's deal? It's the early bird special. Um, <laughs> I think really it's for the big, you know, we need to kick this building off, we probably mm -hmm. need six or 700,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. To kick this building off, we probably need uh, ideally a million five or more. Mm -hmm. um, and then this building will probably flow with that building. Maybe mm -hmm. we, that building might go on spec. Industry sources are saying one possible company might be Time Warner that would be looking at the yards and would be millions of square feet. If, if they were interested, would that block out another media company from taking other space in the in the area? I don't think so. I mean, it's interesting. We're talking to a number of companies in various industries, be it media companies, fashion companies, retailing companies. We find that uh, very little do they seem to be overly concerned about uh, competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Now, that's obviously any particular tenant will have a specific competitor they don't want, but it's mm -hmm. not necessarily ruling out the rest of the industry.